Taylor Swift has donated $100,000 to the grieving family of the Kansas City radio DJ shot dead at the victory parade for her boyfriend Travis Kelsey and his team. Lisa Lopez Galvin, 44, was killed when two juvenile gunmen opened fire in the crowd in a personal dispute that escalated. 21 others were injured, including nine kids. Taylor made two $50,000 donations to the GoFundMe page set up for Lopez Galvin's family. Sending my deepest sympathies and condolences in the wake of your devastating loss. With love, Taylor Swift read the message accompanying the gift. There is no sign of a donation from Kelsey who carried on his partying on Wednesday night after the shooting or the Chiefs. After tweeting that he was heartbroken by the violence on Wednesday, Kelsey decided to carry on the party while injured children were treated in hospital for gunshot wounds. Clutching a beer, he posed for selfies with cops on his way inside the Grand Falloon Bar and Grill before making his way inside. Travis, who was too drunk to speak at the parade, decided to carry on the celebrations after the shooting with a scaled-back party at a local restaurant. He stopped for a selfie with the cops who were running security at the event before making his way inside. The party had been arranged by the team after the Super Bowl win, but many players decided to stay at home after the tragic shooting. Kelsey was not one of them. He carried on the celebrations with some teammates and their partners, posing with Patrick Mahomes' girlfriend Brittany in a photo obtained exclusively by DailyMail.com. He is yet to respond to criticism of his continued celebrations. Prosecutors are still undecided on the charges against the three suspects they have in custody. Two are juveniles who were having a personal dispute, according to police yesterday. One, who was carrying an assault rifle, was tackled by heroic fans as he tried to flee the scene. None have been named. The local district attorney says they intend to charge all of the suspects as adults, with the judge's permission. On Friday, the singer, 34, played to the Biggest Era's tour crowd on her entire tour so far as she took the stage at Melbourne Cricket Ground in Australia. 96,000 fans attended the sold-out show, meaning there were more people in the venue than any other concert to date, and she's had some huge gigs so far, including performing to a 74,000-strong crowd at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey in May. This is the biggest show that we have done on this tour or any tour I have ever done, Swift told the crowd in a clip shared on X, formerly known as Twitter. That's the version you get of me tonight, the version that's completely starstruck by the fact that so many of you wanted to hang out with us on a Friday night in Melbourne, the love story him maker added. Friday's gig marked Swift's first Australian tour since 2018 when she took the stage for her reputation shows. She's also set to perform at MCG on February 17th and 18th before heading to Sydney for next weekend's gigs at the city's Accor Stadium. Swift's Melbourne show comes after she jetted from her era's tour show in Tokyo on Saturday to watch her boyfriend Travis Kelsey help his team, the Kansas City Chiefs, in their victory over the San Francisco 49ers at Sunday's Super Bowl in Las Vegas. Swift and Kelsey, who hasn't been spotted in Australia yet, partied hard after his big Super Bowl win, and despite not getting to spend Valentine's Day together on Wednesday, he did the most romantic thing for her in Vegas. The NFL star was seen dancing to Swift's 2008 hit, You Belong With Me, while celebrating the win at Resorts World's Zook nightclub in Sin City. Swift was then heard raving about the moment in a sweet video that surfaced on social media. The game saw Kelsey win his third Super Bowl with Swift cheering him on in the stands after racing back to Vegas from Japan, where she had played four straight shows on her era's tour in Tokyo. The Chiefs trailed 10-3 at halftime, with Kelsey only catching one pass for one yard after the game's first two quarters. He even came to blows with his head coach Andy Reid, shoving him and screaming in his face as the Chiefs' offense stuttered in the second quarter, but in the second half, Kelsey showed his dominance to finish the game with nine catches for 93 yards, 